if you're new to my channel i dress like a grandma i don't know oh my gosh what is this it looks like moldy cheese no i have a lot of hopes for this so stunning i love this Welcome back to my channel. So I'm filming a haul video today. I'm filming a Shein haul. Um, I think in my e vlog I kept calling it Shein side, but I think it's just Shein. I'm not sure, but the website's called Shein, so I'm just gonna go with that. I ordered so many clothes, and I'm so excited to show you guys everything I got. I'm doing this haul a bit different. Usually how I do it, I just like talk about the clothes and then try them on, but I think I'll just try them on and talk about them whilst they're on me, if that makes sense. Tell me like which one you prefer, like which style of haul you prefer, and I'll just go back to doing whichever one you like. Uh, but yeah, I think we should just get started. Not the first thing I got, and it's like this shared top. Kind of similar, like how many more white shirts do I need? But I got another one. It's so cute. Look at that. It's giving me like kind of pirate vibes. And they had this in a beige color as well, but I thought I'd get white because I prefer white. Let me try and get this on without putting any makeup on the neckline. Okay, so this is what it looks like on. I love it. The material is so nice. I just assumed that it would feel a bit more cheaper because it was so cheap. It's really like breathable and i really like it i got a size medium but i think i should have gone um a size down even and i like the sleeves they're not too puffy i do have a vest top on underneath just because i think it would be um see-through if i didn't have one on so yeah that's what it looks like very like victorian vibes but you know i love puffy sleeves so love it okay so the next thing i got is another top i think this is the last top i got um but it's so pretty this material i saw it on the model and i was like i have to have that but again it's like a shared i think shared is the word i'm actually not even sure but you know it's like that stretchy um material and then puff sleeve again and then the sleeves at the end are cuffed and it just goes out um i'm probably gonna tuck this into my jeans but i'm gonna try it on i might actually like it um untalked but i think this will look so cute with like a bun and red lips or high ponytail even okay i kind of like this and i kind of don't um i think the neck bit is too high for me um if you had a longer neck but that's why i said it would look cute with um a high ponytail because i think that would be long wait let me put my hair up okay so that's how it looks with your hair tied up i kind of like it like that you know it looks cute it's a nice brunch outfit or even dinner outfit i've basically just tied this back for now um but i'll show you oh it's already coming done okay <laughs> that's what it looks like without tucking it i don't really like it like that but i love the sleeves um but you could even tuck the neck in if you're not feeling the neck like that like that so obviously it will be to everyone's taste, but I really like this. Definitely with my hair up. I think it would look cuter with a red lip, but yeah, I'll try that. So the next thing I'm gonna try on is this. Love anything with tweed in it. It just gives me Blair Waldorf vibes. Um, but the thing is tweed is so expensive. But on she inside, the tweed things were really inexpensive. So I was thinking some like scratchy material was about to show up. But this is so soft and it looks such good quality as well. It's just a waistcoat. Um, I don't own anything like this. So I was really excited. They had it in black as well. Um, but it's just white and black. And then it has this gold um, silver detail running through. And then these buttons. These buttons look a bit cheap, but it's fine. I think this will be so cute in the winter. Um, literally with that shirt I just had underneath. I'm gonna have to put the shirt back on. I'll be back. Okay, I was wrong. It looks terrible with this top. Um, I do like... Ah, just hit my foot on the radio. Um, okay. I do like it. I just think it would look better with like a black turtleneck underneath. And also, 
I got a size up in everything just because I wasn't sure about the sizes. I thought it was better to get a size up than not be able to fit into the clothes. But I think everything's true to size. So if you do order off that, just get your, your normal size. So I definitely shouldn't have got a medium in this, but it would have looked cuter if it fit me properly. But it's so pretty. I think it'll be nice in the winter. Definitely not a summer vibe at all. I don't know. Can you even see the bottom? Hold on. So that's where it ends. Oh, so from the whole haul, everything I got, this is definitely my favourite. Um, it's an accessory, so I just thought I'd show you this before I go into all the dresses that I got. But how beautiful is this bag? And the quality is amazing, um, considering the price. I just think it gives me that Chanel vibes, and I just love it. I literally love it and it comes with a chain which is crazy and it doesn't even look cheap i don't think it looks cheap i don't know maybe if you guys like own loads of designer bags you might think it looks cheap there's even like a little pocket how cute if you wanted a longer strap let me show you guys that is honestly adorable so before i jump into the dresses i just want to say the modest selection on shein is amazing all their dresses well most of their dresses are modest like they don't have slits in it they don't they're not backless or see-through so if you're looking for cheap modest attire definitely check them out because so far what i've seen is the quality is amazing so this is the first dress we're trying on yellow so so me this is quite a thick material i love this color on my skin um there's no zip but basically the waistband's elasticated so it's really easy to get into the material is so nice it's not sheer at all and then the pleated skirt i'm so shocked at how cheap this is because pleated skirts are normally really expensive so that's like how much twirl it has i can see myself on holiday walking down the streets in this oh, the next thing is another yellow dress i'm really not sure how this is gonna look oh my gosh what is this it looks like moldy cheese oh i don't even want to put that on thing is like it looked good on the model but i could tell like it could look really terrible in real life it has a lining but the sleeves don't have a lining okay so i really don't like this um it just feels really cheap and it looks very cheap it's just sewn very poorly like as you can see these bits looks very ill-fitting even though this is my size first of all this bow oh my gosh okay so if you come down to the bottom they've like sewn a panel here and then the rest like i guess it's meant to flow now but it just looks very cheap yeah, I don't like this at all. And the sleeves are quite itchy oh, as well. The next thing I'm going to try on is this really cute dress. Oh, I swear it came with a belt. It's got frills on the neck and all the way down the arms. And then it's a maxi dress. This actually looks really cute. I'm excited to try this on. And it even has pearl buttons all the way down. So literally it looks like a tea party dress. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. <gasps> I love this. It's so girly, but you know what? Honestly, if I wore this out, people would think I'm wearing a nighty. If I was extra, I'd actually keep this as pajamas because it's so pretty. I don't know if you guys watch um, Nikki and Gabby. You know Gabby, she has like a vlog channel and she's so fancy. Uh, I could imagine her wearing this, but this is so cute. I literally love it. But like... <laughs> I don't think I have enough confidence to wear this out because people would actually take the piss out of me. It's so modest, it goes all the way down to the floor. I could imagine myself like in a castle. <laughs> in a castle going through the halls in this. Does anyone else like this type of style? Because I feel like people would actually find this disgusting but I think it's really cute. I know this isn't very professional but I just wanted to show you the full thing on. So I was thinking like, what if I cut it just to be a top, then what? It wouldn't be that in your face, do you know what I mean? No, I don't think I'm gonna keep it. But if you get it, let me know. <laughs> Cause then I might rebuy it, I don't know. I think it's very pretty. Okay, next modest dress, so it's polka dots. I think this will look really cute on. I'm gonna put a belt on it and it cinches in like it's got elastic sleeves and then it cinches in at the waist as well and it goes all the way down and it is like pleated as well as you can see 
Guys, this is so cute. Definitely an everyday dress. Um, the only thing is, is I got a size up and I really regret it because it looks like it's drowning me. But other than that, it's so pretty. It's completely modest. I actually love this. It's so pretty. I love the colour. It's like the perfect park outfit as well. You know, you just want to throw a dress on because it's really hot. This is like perfect for those occasions. That's what it looks like on. I guess it doesn't look too bad. What do you guys think? You think it's drowning me? This one I have really high expectations for. If this looks nice, I'll actually wear it to like my graduation if I ever have one. Um, it got cancelled obviously because of COVID. Um, but then they said that they're going to push it back. So I really hope we get to have one. So it's just this satin green long dress again all the way to the floor no slits and it has a tie at the waist. For starters materials great um, so I'm happy about that. Oh my gosh guys this is so stunning I love it. The fit is literally perfect it's so flattering and the material is really nice it just looks so expensive I'm so shocked at the price. This is what it looks like and I'm obsessed with this colour as well. I've always loved this colour. You guys need this if you're going to like a formal occasion, prom, whatever, wedding. Would have been great for Eid as well, maybe the next Eid. Look at that colour, it's just stunning. I really like that. That's what it looks like. Okay, last item guys. So this is, again, a more dressy piece. So if you need something for a wedding or Eid, well, let's see if it's nice first. Uh, it's just this Thule maxi dress. Um, it's silk underneath and then the sleeves are sheer so I'm gonna try this on I love this I feel like an actual princess how pretty the only thing is it makes that sound when you walk like like that sounds like that uh, but I really like this you could definitely wear this to like Eid prom or a wedding or whatever could be a birthday outfit so that's what it looks like I like how the lining is all the way up to the neck yeah, what do you guys think and it is maxi as well as you can see it goes all the way down so I've just folded the waistband up like that it actually looks a lot more expensive DIY for you guys if you get this. I am just gonna sit down for the rest of this video but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and let me know what your favourite item was down below or if you've ever ordered off Shein side and like what your experience was. This is my first time. I'm pretty happy with everything. Well pretty much everything. I'm definitely giving some things back but I've left all the links down below. I definitely recommend going like true to size. I should have got a small in everything. Um, and I normally wear an 8 to 10. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new here, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!